Well, what an exciting test flight this has been. Hello and welcome back to Alex SpaceX Talks. The second fully integrated Starship test flight was a blast. I had the opportunity in giving a live commentary to about 50 people during my exhibition at the Space Eye in Bern, Switzerland. A lot of the attendees didn't know anything about Starship and they were really stunned about my introduction and live coverage of the event. Although that the mass media declared the second test flight being another setback for Elon Musk, the test was a real full success for the whole crew at Starbase in Texas. Let's quickly wrap up what happened during the second test flight and when we can expect the third test flight to happen. On November 18, Starship successfully lifted off at Starbase Texas and achieved some major milestones. All 33 Raptor engines of Super Heavy started up successfully and completed a full duration burn. Starship then conducted a successful hot staging separation. This was the first time this technique had been achieved with a vehicle this size. Following separation, Super Heavy completed its flipback maneuver, initiated the boostback burn and then experienced a rapid unscheduled disassembly. Starship's six Raptor engines propelled the vehicle to an altitude of 150 kilometers, making it the first Starship reaching out of space and completing an almost full duration burn. The water-cooled flame deflector and other launch pad upgrades worked as expected. They require minimum post-launch work for the upcoming static fire tests and for the third integrated test flight to happen. SpaceX's third Starship vehicle should be ready to fly in three to four weeks, Musk said on Sunday in a post on X formerly known as Twitter. Just inspected the Starship launch pad and it's in great condition. No refurbishment needed to the water-cooled steel plate for next launch. Well, that of course doesn't mean that we will see another integrated test flight in 2023, however. It's unclear when the agency's investigation into satellite's flight will end. It just got on the way after all. But given the progress SpaceX made with Flight 2 compared to Flight 1, it would be surprising if there's another 7 months gap between Starship liftoffs. SpaceX certainly seems to be gearing up with its test flight cadence. There are three Starship and Super Heavy prototypes in final production at Starbase Texas. Well folks, this was for sure an interesting and exciting test flight and I honestly cannot wait for the next one to happen. I'll keep you posted on my channel as soon as I have more details and more information. I hope that you've all enjoyed today's episode and see you soon in the next one. Ciao!